Everybody knows a dinosaur nerd. That one person that just won't stop quoting dino facts. Did you know the Waka Chaka Lacosaurus is the biggest animal ever, blah, blah, blah. Well, you can tell them they're wrong because the largest animal that has ever lived on Earth lives right now. It's weighing in at over 200 tons, the blue whale is the largest creature the world has ever known. Just the tongue weighs as much as an elephant and it's big enough for an entire football team to stand on. I can't even imagine having a two-ton tongue. <clears throat> that really is a tongue twister. To give you another idea of how big they are, put your hand into a fist and place it just to the left centre of your chest. That's roughly how big your heart is and roughly where it is. But a blue whale's heart is as big as a car and its veins and arteries are so big that you'd be able to crawl along them. And weirdly enough, despite being the largest animal on Earth, they feed on some of the smallest creatures in our ocean, plankton. More specifically, blue whales feast on a type of zooplankton called krill. These are tiny shrimp-like creatures that swarm together in vast numbers. Blue whales can eat up to four tons of this a day. They find it krillicious. Just how we hate getting a mouthful of seawater when we go swimming, whales would rather not swallow gallons of seawater. So how do they swallow the krill without getting a belly full of water? When a blue whale finds a swarm of krill, it opens its giant mouth and engulfs the entire swarm. It has a pleated throat that can stretch out, allowing the whale to hold all the krill in its mouth. But instead of teeth, blue whales have curtains of baleen. Now this baleen is made of keratin, which is the same substance our hair and our fingernails are made from. It acts like a bristly filter, so when the blue whale pushes its giant tongue up against the roof of the mouth, all of the seawater squirts out from between the baleen and traps the krill inside, which can then be swallowed. It's kind of like if you were eating breakfast cereal and you used your tongue to squirt all the milk out from between your teeth, keeping the cereal in your mouth. Despite having the biggest tongues on Earth, blue whales have a surprisingly small throat and can't swallow anything larger than a beach ball. So no need to worry about getting swallowed like Jonah or Pinocchio. Unfortunately, there are plenty of plastic items that we put in the ocean that are smaller than a beach ball. Whales swallow these and piles of plastic get stuck in their digestive systems. But these tiny pieces of plastic, called microplastics, also found in the krill that the whale eats. If you think about the sheer volume of krill that's eaten, it's easy to imagine how a blue whale ends up consuming more and more and more plastic. We call this process bioaccumulation, as the plastic accumulates or builds up inside the whale. Toxins in plastic then get stored in the whale's fatty blubber. Over time, the whale breaks these down to release the fat stores for energy but in doing so releases the toxins into its bloodstream. So you can see why it's really important that everyone does their part to stop plastics going into our ocean.